Hey guys, in this video, I will be explaining you about the basic authentication. So guys, many websites or uh, URL applications require a server login. They directly, you can't open that particular website or directly you can't browse that website. So definitely they will ask you for the server login. So first of all, you have to do the server login authentication. Only after that you can able to login in the website or in the application. So in the company, definitely there will be multiple times that uh, there can be application which requires a server login. So how you can do the server login and the basic authentication. So first of all, let's create a one class for it. Create a Java class. So we will be creating it with the name of basic auth. And we will be including the main method in it, guys. So just click on finish. So as we have already have the code for launching a Chrome browser. So we will copy it from here, guys. So just copy this line of code. This is a simple code to launch a Chrome browser. So I'm just launching a Chrome browser and entering the URL. So guys, this is the particular URL. So which is containing an example for the Windows Server uh, authentication. So you can also try this URL and you can also practice for it. So let's try to run this and uh, see what it looks like. So guys, once I'm opening this URL, it will throw me this server authentication pop-up. You can see guys, I'm not able to log in and I'm not able to go in this particular website until I will do the, until I don't do the sign in in it. So with the proper username and credentials. So guys, this is not even JavaScript pop-up. This is not even Windows pop-up like that. So you can't inspect this element guys, see? You can't inspect this. You will not be able to locate the username and password here and you can enter the value. So how you will do the authentication, how you will enter the username and password and do the sign in. See guys, this is a server authentication pop-up which is coming and there is a different way to handle this and to do the sign in. But this is mandatory if you want to log in into, if you want to go and access the application. So how you can do it guys? So for that guide, what we have to do is, so this is the URL, right guys? So just copy it and I will show you the syntax, what you have to do. So this is the URL. So what you have to do guys, after this double slash in the URL, you have to pass username and password. Like what? You have to write down username, uh, this colon. After that, you have to enter and you have to write down your password. Okay, User, username, colon, password. And after that, you have to write at the rate. And re remaining of the URL, uh, will be based on the at the rate. So at the rate after this remaining URL. Right guys, so what is the syntax basically? So syntax is HTTP semicolon double slash username. Then you have to enter password at the rate URL. So this is the syntax. You have to do the login for the server. So this is how you have to use. So in my case, in this example, admin admin is user name and password. So what you have to do guys, so you have to write it like, instead of here you have to write admin. In the similar way, you have to write down for password, admin, and at the rate URL. So just copy it, you can cut it guys from here and paste it in the driver.get like this. So this is the example. This is the syntax guys that you have to follow if you want to log in into the basic authentication in the server. Right guys, so this is the format for it. And this one we are doing for our website so now let's try to execute this time to run a java application
So automatically with the URL, our username and password will go and will get the access from the server and will log in into the application guys. Now this time it will not show you the pop-up for the authentication guys. Internally it will send the request and it will access and it will do the login for you. So you can see guys there is no pop-up this time and this you have must share the proper credentials so it is logged in for you. So you can verify or you can get the text also so that you can see it is actually did the proper login or not. So you can basically locate this particular text message. So this is having with the P, P tag. So we can use a P tag in here. So what you can do, driver dot find element by dot tag name. Tag name is P. We will be getting get text, right guys? So based on this case, you can even verify that uh, it is properly logged in or not for you. So I'm just printing out this message for you. But you can verify it with the like conditions, if and conditions. So if it is verifying the conditions or not. right so like that so once again i will add this line from here to here so that it will be good now let's try to execute the test case guys so you will see it, it will do the login and it is properly fetching this congratulation text successful message for you and you can validate and definitely like if it is here successful login so the message will display for you otherwise you will your test case will get failed for you but guys this is a simple way that you can do uh, login in that particular server uh, login if you're facing that login so guys you can see in the text so congratulations you must have the proper credential so it is properly login in our website and we can directly fetch this particular message for you. So, yeah. And we're not facing this pop up this time. So, guys, this is the way that you have to use. And this is the format for this particular type of URL. And you have to use username, call, and password at the rate URL. So, this is the format you have to use. And you will not face any challenge. This kind of pop up, and you can log in into it server login credentials so thank you guys that's it in this video it is a small video but it is very useful many times we face that kind of issues while working in a project in a particular application so you can resolve it by that and yeah please keep sharing the content with your friends and colleagues thanks to everyone bye